Sorry, I had to stretch. What? Go on. Yes, like that's what she that's said. What she said. <laughs> Very creative, Rick. Uh, today, we're nine years old. I have alcohol. Look at this big bottle of rum. Wow, look at that. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Reminds me of childhood. This smell actually does. This is the smell of my childhood. Why? This is the rum my dad always, like whenever I was with my dad and we were at the beach, mm -hmm. he would always have a rum and coke. Always. Oh, well, that makes sense. Always. Uh, and so it, it literally, I've talked with my brother about it as well. This yeah, smell there are, literally reminds me of childhood. Yeah, there are certain smells mm -hmm. that will trigger you and make you feel like a kid again. Yeah. And that's, that's one of those smells? Yeah, yeah. it is 100% one of those smells. Yeah. So like, actually, this is what I drink every time I'm at the beach because it just, it reminds me of going to the beach. Rum and coke is a fantastic beach drink. Probably, it is probably the best thing to have at the beach is a rum. Yeah, one of the one of the right. Depend. I, if I love cores and a slice of lime. I mean cores, Corona and a slice of lime. Sometimes if you're at like a big tropical um, or like a big resort, oh, it's nice to well, have a fruity drink. A fruty drink, yeah, like a pina colada. <laughs> but uh, yeah. a normal, normal, uh, just go uh, to the beach. Outing, yeah, a rum and coke is probably my go-to. What are you doing? Nothing to do. Uh, this is called tablet trap. Okay, I'm interested. So like tablet trap music, I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, and say this. Jomi? Yeah, Jomi George. You know him? No. Oh. Okay. Jomi George. Tablet Trap. Uh, okay. And I know what this is from. I'll let you guess. Okay. You'll probably guess pretty fast. Okay. It's not a movie. Okay, so this is like a cover of something or at least a shout nope. out, a tip of the cap? Nope. Okay. <laughs> but you've heard it. Okay. You've heard this. <laughs> is it your mom farting? Here we go. Uh, yeah. What's it from, Rick? It's from the Gully Boy soundtrack. You'll get it in a second.
our intros uh a stupid baby yeah. who just did it uh for us and every once in a while my add gets add and then i need a new intro and so every couple months we change intros uh and so this is obviously our current one i had no idea this was what it was from but yeah. they told me in the description that it was this is what your intro very is cool from. uh <sighs> it was really interesting because i've never heard the tabla integrated with no. The new age electronic trap music. Not at all. No. Very, very really cool. cool. Really interesting. Very cool. Very interesting. And there was a point in there where you probably saw the look on my face. I started to trigger something. The tap dancer in me was like, oh. Oh, you're going to tap to this one? Oh, you could. Yeah? Yeah. I was choreographing stuff instantly. I was like, okay, dang, this would be insanely hard, but it would be really cool. That would be really cool. Yeah. You should work be, on that. It'd be, there'd be some things to try to match. That would be insanely difficult, but man, would that be fun. Mm -hmm. I just, food for thought. You should work on that. We've been talking about having a tap yeah. dance with something that would match us to. Yeah. We've been talking about something that has a match up to. I'm already thinking about those stuff. I'm getting things in the rhythm of my head. <laughs> <sighs> Gotta get my tap shoes out. Uh, so outside of obviously music, what is your, your, your first, uh, and acting, of course. Acting for sure, 100%. Obviously, outside of right. those two. What do you like? Uh, choreographing, dancing, uh, writing? Creatively? Yeah, creatively. What do you... Wow. What do you like doing most? Uh, writing on a piano. Writing on a piano. Writing a song on the piano. I like writing on the guitar too, but I much prefer piano. Mm -hmm. Piano is something I can sit down on and I'm not even really having to think about anything. And when I hear something in my head, I can find it on the piano much easier and remember it more easily and play more complex things. And it just comes more naturally for me. Mm -hmm. And there's a... There's a, a creative zone that you get into, what, you know, when you, yeah. that, that happens for me on the, the piano. Mm. Uh, I, I love dancing and, and doing choreography, but no, the after, after acting, it's, yeah. it's singing and writing on a piano. Yeah. Yeah. Figured. That was really cool though. It was really. That was very good. Really interesting. I want more stuff from yeah. Johnny George. Johnny George, let's see. He has 149,000 subscribers. How many videos? And, and I'm assuming, is, is, is Jummy George, is this what he does? It's, it's it looks, tabla and, looks like tabla and, and kind electronic. Of electronic slash trap it's like, music. It's like EDM tabla. So he's like a, a tabla DJ almost. That's so cool. Uh, which is so interesting. Yeah, that's uh, so cool. I've never, obviously, we've seen a lot of tablet players. Obviously, we, our best friend is Zakir Hussein. Ustaz. Yeah, we, just we're buds. We're constantly hanging out. We call him the Ustaj. Yeah. Uh, what's up, Ustaj? What's up, Ustaj? I don't know if that's just a Constantly. I'm I mean, sorry. <laughs> we, we, go, we go over, he's always making us that tea he did yeah. a commercial for. Yeah. It's just, yeah. We're just being dumb. Dodge. Dumb. I know. What was it saying in it? SRK. So he's just like, Hey, SRK, shut up. Yeah. We'll get to you in a minute. Yeah. God, no respect. Seriously. Like, at least Run Veer gives us yeah. a shout out on Twitter. Learn your place first. Yeah. When you get to our level, you can have input. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one off the rails. It did. Well, that was great. Let us know more videos from him or others like it down below. Da <laughs> <laughs>